if you have already watched my reset video, um, this is just, I'm filming it in the same week. But I wanted to do a what I eat in a week. So I'm taking y'all along. I tried to do this last week, but then I ate out a lot. <laughs> and I wanted to give y'all like good recipes at the same time. So we're starting it off strong. It is breakfast time. I also am making my coffee, the pumpkin cream cold brew, the healthy one. So that's good. But yeah, let's make breakfast. Starting with breakfast, I just pulled out. It's overnight oats. I all I just put sea salt and cinnamon oats and then water and i'll just do it the night before i love these way better than hot oats i don't know why but that's me so i have those um i have fresh strawberries i'm going to cut up like four put them in here i also have honey so i'll put honey in here and then is it this one let me see then i have this love crunch granola this is my favorite i will go like this is a huge bag and i go through this bag like so much so that's what i put in my oats so, so good. On to the pumpkin cream cold brew. What I like to use, and I've been on the hunt and I did found it, it's this Elmhurst milked oats. The ingredients are literally just filtered water, whole grain oats, and salt. So I like this, and I feel like oat milk foams more than almond milk. So I use that. I'll put a little teaspoon of vanilla in there. And then I just do a tablespoon, if you can hear them, a tablespoon of pumpkin. And whenever I do this, I tend to do a lot, like probably a cup of milk, a tablespoon, and then a teaspoon. And I'll like just pre-batch it, so then I like because I just put a little bit so I'll always have leftover if that makes sense so I'm gonna do that and also I'll put this sweetener it's just stevia in my coffee too meal that we're gonna make is just chicken salad salad and then I also had made or cut up some sweet potatoes because I want to try and make some sweet potato fries on my own so we're gonna try and do that first um I bake the uh, I'm gonna put the oven on 400 and then I'm gonna bake for like 20 minutes here is sweet potato fries I'm going to put olive oil garlic powder pepper and salt on them salad and then how I made the chicken salad is I used this primal kitchen mayonnaise it's made with avocado oil so I feel like this was a better alternative and then you use which this wasn't that good um, some ranch seasoning you just need like a teaspoon or two and then you put some Dijon mustard and then I just put some salt pepper and then some red onions in there too oh and like obviously shredded chicken and then you just mix it I don't know why this is not focused. Okay, and then 
then here's my salad. I just did half a bowl because I'm gonna put the fries on the other half, but I used just some croutons and then just the chicken salad. And then honestly, I know that this is a bad habit, but I always watch Love Island whenever I eat lunch. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's like almost two. I'm just gonna eat some of these churro strips. They have really good ingredients on them and I just kinda wanted something sweet. So I'm gonna eat these. I really like these. So we just got back from Trader Joe's. Honestly, I'm just gonna show y'all what I restocked. Basically, like, week to week what I typically get. Soft and juicy mango. This turkey jerky is super good. It does have a lot of sodium, so be careful. The butter lettuce is the best. I get this, and this is what I eat for my salads. These dark chocolate almond butter cups are super good. I love to snack on these. And that's basically it. I'm cooking dinner later, too. So that's just, I just got some ground turkey meat and then just some corn. So I just cooked dinner. Um, I did the corn from Trader Joe's. And then here is the ground turkey. I put some taco seasoning on it. And I just heated up two flour quesadillas. I also really like this sweet onion salsa. So I'm gonna eat this with some chips and then I do have some guac too. So yeah, I'm just gonna put sour cream, cheese, lettuce on my tacos and maybe some guac. And this is the finished product. So I actually wanted to share with y'all my supplements and vitamins that I take every day as well. So that's what we're gonna do. So to start, I always take this cat's claw. It's 500 milligrams. I just take one in the morning before I eat breakfast with water. Um, it's like a herb, so it's supposed to like be anti-inflammatory, anti-viral, antibacterial, like all this good stuff. Um, and I heard that this helps with like urinary tract issues, so that's why I took that. It's also just good overall for your health. So I take one of those in the morning, and then sometime throughout the day I will take, where is this, just D-mannose. Again, this with this one is really good, especially if you're a flight attendant or just a woman in general. So this is actually, it has some vitamin C and d manos and cranberry blend, so it's all in one. I take one of these, maybe two if I need them. So that's what I take um, like in the morning. And then throughout the day or as the day goes on, I love using these papaya enzymes. These are really good for after you eat bread, after you eat something that you need like more help digesting. So I'll typically eat two of these after lunch and then after dinner. I just love it, it helps everything, you know? <laughs> and then also after lunch, I will just take one. It's this Trader Joe's High Potency Chewable Multivitamin and Mineral. It's for adults. Fun fact, I love chewable vitamins and if you like the Flintstone, like, chewable vitamins growing up you will love this one um it has a lot of good things and you just have to take one so and then also i just got back into this it's um omega and dha gummies this is just from amazon i really like them um it has like all the good things and it's from chia seed oil and then algae so i'm actually allergic to fish so that's why i want the good omegas but like i can't eat fish and i can't really have fish oil so that's why I like these. Um, and yeah, those are just all the vitamins that I take in a day. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed my what I eat in a day. Hopefully I can start incorporating this more and giving y'all more recipes. And yeah, thanks so much. Subscribe below.